All right, so the game is a foot kind of sorta. We are going to simply just get rid of me. We're gonna fast forward just a little bit before everyone makes their outros. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the game is finally a foot. Wait, red team's missing the player. How is it doing? Oh, great. Oh, I wanted this game. This game is going to be good, but I just didn't like that red team started off like lacking a player. I never really liked that. But I need to relax because on the blue team, we have Ghost King 57. By the way, these names are very different, and I really enjoy that. So on the blue team, handling things by himself. Ghost King 57, playing his Bakudu. Daniel Wick coming in a little late for the assist, but I think he's got it under control. As well as Double Trub, playing as Zero. As well as Death's Hour 188, playing as Azriel, who's starting to tear stuff up right now. But chill out because on the red team, coming to take over B, we have Max Chipo Frito, as well as House Manga, playing as Azriel, as well as Blind 43. And finally, oh yeah, we don't have a fourth member. All right, so I, I know that this game is going to be pretty good. I'm just curious to see how that works out. And again, I'm getting a little choppy. It's a little choppy. Some games on Bleeding Edge, unfortunately, are a little choppy. But. Mm. Big Belly Knockdown Zero is in trouble right now. You can get a wall, but yeah, don't get me wrong. Zero's in trouble, but he still has to heal. Do everything, dude. He's just gonna keep portaling. And just keep himself at a distance. Azrael Zero needs help, dude. Granted, he's healing passively, but. Alright, so Red Team. What is this? Red Team has three members of their team, and they took the entire map. This is what I mean about, like, sense of awareness during the game. Like,. Red Team is lacking a member of their team, and they had a tremendous lead just there. Don't get me wrong, they don't... They're in a bad situation, but like, if Zero can get over to help Cheapo, Max Cheapo over here, just a little bit, if he can touch him just a little bit, but Max Cheapo's kind of running away. There you go, there you go. Max Cheapo, your heal is trying to heal you, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get over to Damon on the Red Team. Chipo goes invisible, but I think he's looking for something sneaky. Misses the graffiti spray. Misses all his hits almost. Gets the knockdown. Oh, gets hit by the missile, I think. And that's how that goes. But, man, I really hope... I don't know when it's going to happen, but I really hope Red Team gets a fourth member because... Again, Red Team's still in the lead. All it takes is that sense of awareness. But we have a fight going on over there. Okay, so blue team's trying to take things over. They're trying to make a comeback here. Hmm, Azrael gets the knockdown. Makudu still staying on top of the base. Hmm, nice wall pin. Nice wall pin. I gotta respect that wall pin. Ooh, the combos. Ooh, big belly. One more time. One more time. Don't run, Zero. Don't run. There you go. And again, with sense of awareness, Red Team still has two object. This game is crazy. I, I, it, stuff like this disappoints me that they didn't support the game further. Red Team with 300 to Blue Team's 270. Keep in mind, Blue Team has the full advantage, but Red Team is actually, they have a little handicap right now. All right, so the entirety of red team is at B, but I have a feeling that Azrael is going to spawn in and he's going to immediately go for uh, A or C. Hmm, the combos. Blind. Ooh, blind gets all that. Blind gets hit with all that. All right, now blue team bringing it back. Uh, blue team definitely had to like, you know, focus a little bit because, like I said, with only three members on red team, that was pretty. That was a pretty crazy way to start the round off. All right, and again, Buttercup decides to take A. No one focuses on it. 
Buttercup comes over to take B, and because Buttercup has to focus on fighting them, they're not going to focus on trying to take A. So Buttercup going in right now. Needs her healer. There we go. Now this is a fight. Damon on the blue team died probably by missiles. I couldn't tell. This is a fight right now. This is a fight right now. Missiles out. Buttercup again. Takes B again. And keep in mind, like I said, because she took A and no one's paying attention, they're going to keep both objectives here. Blind 43. In some trouble? It depends. Because Makudu is just hunting this dude down, man. Makudu's just been hunting down Zero the entire game. Alright, now blue team finally managed to take it back. But again, you gotta pay attention because on the red team, here comes Damon. With them taking, oh, well, correction. Azriel takes A now, and Zero's gonna try to take C. And Damon's over here trying to take B. This game is crazy. Like, this game is crazy. Holy shit, Azriel got rocked by those missiles. Okay, 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 okay. Damon in some trouble. Shadow Strike is out, but Damon really supporting his team right now. Ooh, Zero gets hit. And again, red team not going out without a fight. They finally get a fourth member of their team, and he goes by the name of Sorry Duchess 619. I am so happy to see you, man. Because they really needed a little extra support. Okay. Blue team has 600. Chrysalis is out. Ooh, but they beat the Chrysalis. Damon gets knocked down. Buttercup gets a yank. Triple Fritos invisible. He's supporting his team, looking for a uh, graffiti spray. Doesn't get it necessarily. This game is good. Yo, red team has all three objectives. Like, this is what I mean. Like, and Death's Hour is gone on the blue team. And if I had to say it, red team's looking real healthy right now. Buttercup stand on top of the objective like she should. Makudu tries to do it. Gets hit by a missile. Tries to pin Buttercup. He dies. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Red Team completely brings the comeback. And I'm not going to say it was because of... Uh, I think his name was Duchess. Yeah, I'm not going to say it was because of Duchess. Red Team had sense of awareness 24-7 through this match. I'm not going to lie. I think this is probably the most exciting game I've ever commentated because this was pretty unfair, but they made it fair by themselves just by having understanding of the game. But so far, again, we got a huge we got a huge scramble going on over there. It doesn't even matter. I mean, you know what? We can maybe I can. uh, Maybe we can rewind just a bit to understand how that happened again. Yeah, I've never really done it before, so this basically ended as Zero came over here to A. There was a fight going on. Seeing as this is the last fight, I wanted to see what happened. Pretty fair, man. Yeah, the wreck team comes in, double trouble gets hit, and that's how it goes. All right, all right. Again, this was the this was a very good game, dude. This was a very good game. All right, so 638 to 700, Ghost King 57 going two and one, Death's Hour going two and two, Double Trub going four and one with 8,000 heals, as well as well as Daniel Wick going two and two, Sorry Duchess going four and zero, oh, as well as Blind 40, dude, he came in the game and started killing, as well as Blind 43 going one and three, House Manga going two and two with 8,000 damage done. 11,000 damage taken as well as 399 on the objective score and I witnessed that as well as Max Cheapo Frito going 6 and 1 with 4 killing blows G G G G just fat G's all around that match really that match really made me understand further about what bleeding edge can be like how far you can take bleeding edge